The barn owl. The barn owl is the most widely distributed species of owl in the world and one of the most widespread of all species of birds. It is also known as the common barn owl, to distinguish it from the other species in its family, Titonidae, which forms one of the two main lineages of living owls, the other being the typical owls. The barn owl is found almost everywhere in the world except for the polar and desert regions, Asia north of the Himalayas, most of Indonesia, and some Pacific islands. Phylogenetic evidence shows that there are at least three major lineages of barn owl, one in Europe, Western Asia and Africa, one in Southeastern Asia and Australasia, and one in the Americas, and some highly divergent taxa on islands. Accordingly, some authorities split the group into the Western barn owl for the group in Europe, Western Asia and Africa, the Eastern barn owl for the group in Southeastern Asia and Australasia, and the American barn owl for the group in the Americas. Some taxonomic authorities further split the group, recognizing up to five species, and further research needs to be done to clarify the position. There is a considerable variation between the sizes and color of the approximately 28 subspecies, but most are between 33 and 39 centimeters in length, with wingspans ranging from 80 to 95 centimeters. The plumage on head and back is a mottled shade of gray or brown, the underparts vary from white to brown and are sometimes speckled with dark markings. The face is characteristically heart-shaped and is white in most subspecies. This owl does not hoot, but utters an eerie, drawn-out screech. The barn owl is nocturnal over most of its range, but in Great Britain and some Pacific Islands, it also hunts by day. Barn owls specialize in hunting animals on the ground and nearly all of their food consists of small mammals which they locate by sound, their hearing being very acute. They usually mate for life unless one of the pair is killed, when a new pair bond may be formed. Breeding takes place at varying times of year according to the locality, with a clutch, averaging about four eggs, being laid in a nest in a hollow tree, old building or fissure in a cliff. The female does all the incubation, and she and the young chicks are reliant on the male for food. When large numbers of small prey are readily available, barn owl populations can expand rapidly, and globally the bird is considered to be of least conservation concern. Some subspecies with restricted ranges are more threatened. Description the barn owl is a medium-sized, pale-colored owl with long wings and a short, squarish tail. There is considerable size variation across the subspecies with a typical specimen measuring about 33 to 39 centimeters in overall length, with a full range of 29 to 44 centimeters across the species. Barn owls have a typical wingspan of some 80 to 95 centimeters, with a full range of 68 to 105 centimeters. Adult body mass is also variable with male owls from the Galapagos weighing approximately 260 grams on average while male eastern barn owls average 555 grams. The full known weight range for the barn owl species can range from 224 to 710 grams. In general, owls living on small islands are smaller and lighter, perhaps because they have a higher dependence on insect prey and need to be more maneuverable. However, the largest bodied race of barn owl, T.A. Furcata from Cuba and Jamaica, is also an island race, albeit being found on more sizable islands with larger prey and few larger owls competing for dietary resources. The shape of the tail is a means of distinguishing the barn owl from typical owls when seen in the air. Other distinguishing features are the undulating flight pattern and the dangling, feathered legs. The pale face with its heart shape and black eyes give the flying bird a distinctive appearance, like a flat mask with oversized, oblique black eye slits, the ridge of feathers above the beak somewhat resembling a nose. The bird's head and upper body typically vary between pale brown and some shade of grey in most subspecies. Some are purer, richer brown instead, and all have fine black and white speckles except on the remiges and rectrices, which are light brown with darker bands. The heart-shaped face is usually bright white, but in some subspecies it is brown. The left ear is slightly above the eyes on the vertical plane, whereas the right ear is slightly below the eyes. The orientation of the ear covets in relation to the face also differs between the ears, with a difference of about 15 degrees. The underparts, including the tarsometatarsal lower leg feathers, vary from white to reddish buff among the subspecies, and are either mostly unpatterned or bear a varying number of tiny blackish-brown speckles. It has been found that at least in the continental European populations, females with more spotting are healthier than plainer birds. This does not hold true for European males by contrast, where the spotting varies according to subspecies. The beak varies from pale horn to dark buff, corresponding to the general plumage hue, and the iris is blackish-brown. 
The feet, like the beak, vary in color, ranging from pink to dark pinkish gray and the talons are black. On average within any one population, males tend to have fewer spots on the underside and are paler in color than females. The latter are also larger with a strong female T. alba of a large subspecies weighing over 550 grams, while males are typically about 10% lighter. Nestlings are covered in white down, but the heart-shaped facial disc becomes visible soon after hatching. Contrary to popular belief, the barn owl does not hoot. It instead produces the characteristic shri scream, painful to human hearing at close range, in an eerie, long drawn-out shriek. Males in courtship give a shrill twitter. Both young and old animals produce a snake-like hiss defense when disturbed. Other sounds produced include a purring chirrup denoting pleasure, and a key yak, which resembles one of the vocalizations of the tawny owl. When captured or cornered, the barn owl throws itself on its back and flails with sharp talon feet, making for an effective defense. In such situations, it may emit rasping sounds or clicking snaps, produced probably by the beak but possibly by the tongue. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video please like and subscribe.